So it's day 22 of my Camino. I'm leaving Negrera. It's uh, 6.40 in the morning. And the garbage truck is coming. Uh, yeah, I'm starting a little later today than I done the previous days. I uh, had a um, infection in my blister, one blister. Had to work with that yesterday. Uh, and it's much better today, so. But if I see an open pharmacy, I'll probably stop by and get something for it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, I think actually it would be fine just the way it is now. Uh, I don't know where I'm walking today, but it's uh, 70 kilometers to the Cape in Finisterra. So we will kind of try to split this in half. There are several places I can st stay kind of in the middle. So I will try to choose one of those. So it will not be any 40 kilometer walks the next two days, I think. So that way with just two times 35, that should give my body some rest. believe this I actually think your cell is 100 meters in front of me he would be surprised Buen Camino oh. <laughs> so that was a nice encounter and unexpected but it shouldn't be unexpected though since we I did see him five days in a row and we did kind of walk the same distances and he stopped the same in the same village as me today so or tonight so we must just have missed each other like for a week so uh, but of course it's hard to talk with him his English is worse than my Spanish and I don't speak much Spanish just in words cerveza vino tinto mañana ahora ropa yeah and some more things but uh, he will also be in Finisterre tomorrow, mañana, and he will see the sun go down in the ocean. So I'll probably see him tomorrow as well. With his, that would be the last time. He's taking the bus back to Santiago, so he will not be in Mujer and not walk to Santiago again. So but it, was, it was a nice surprise. Well, it's 11.20, so I've been walking for 4 hours and 40 minutes, 27 kilometers. So, when I find a place to stop now and have a breakfast, I will have breakfast. Ok, 
Okay, so it's been uh, five hours and five minutes, 29 kilometers, so it's time for breakfast. Well, it was 29k without a break, so I'm having more for breakfast. So that was a nice uh, breakfast, 50 minutes, one omelet, one piece of cake, one orange juice, and two beers. So it's a uh, quarter to one, it's uh, been only 10 minutes since, about 10 minutes since I left from where I had my breakfast. And just during those 50 minutes, when I was eating my breakfast, until now, the sun is so much warmer so you feel it that once you start walking so gotta protect the head well the story of my backpack i love my backpack uh, it's the same kind I used way back when I was in, in the military. If you ask probably any other Norwegian guy or anyone else, they would think it's the most uncomfortable backpack you can have. Even when I bought these uh, bottle holders, I had to improvise with this thing to keep them in space because the thin leather straps are too small for the velcro thing to stick around it so but I like it as you see it is personalized it's the one I always use it gives me some air on the back as you can see there so I don't get all sweat in the back I love it well right now there are some trees and shade so I don't need this um, if you saw yesterday's video I met uh, Peter and his fiance. She's only the fiance because she doesn't want her name here on the YouTube, and that's of course respected. So, Peter and his fiance. I met yesterday, and he's the guy who stopped me when I was sitting in the uh, in a little street in a little village somewhere ten days, maybe two weeks ago, having a beer, coming over. Aren't you that YouTuber? And Peter, no, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just posting things on YouTube. Just as you know, and Kelly, I told you this as well. Just posting things there. Um, anyway, I met him yesterday. He said Finisterre now. Of course, he's been taking the, or they've been taking the bus some stages. So uh, I did text with him and I, yeah, maybe, I'd, yeah, I think he will be there tomorrow as well. I didn't quite understand, so maybe see him for a third time. So why am I making these videos? Because I'm getting, getting old and like talking to myself? Maybe. No, uh, when I started to plan and think about doing the Camino, I did look at a lot on YouTube. I like to see what other have done, get some ideas, what to bring, what not to bring, and it gave me some information. And it was just nice to look at it and for the time you're waiting for my Camino to start. Uh, <laughs> most of the things that we're watching was obviously more serious than what I'm doing. So if you want more historical things, more serious stuff, look at someone else. I liked, uh, 
Yeah, I think the first one I found was Dale's Outdoor Adventure. I liked him. And uh, everyday journeys. Uh, I didn't get to see all of them because they were still walking and they didn't post every day. So uh, I think it's like two weeks. The last two weeks of them I haven't seen. I will see that when I come home. And also, Victoria keeps walking. I looked at. And then there were some uh, others that were posting like a whole long video from the whole Camino. So you will find this on YouTube. But I just enjoyed looking at it before I was starting my own Camino. So that's why I'm doing this. If anyone likes this, enjoy. You know, sometimes this happens. You're walking, you're having a good speed. You set to walking straight, but then all of a sudden you're pulled to the side because you come, you see this big sign with a Bravo Alfa Romeo, and then you just have to walk in there. It totally takes control of everything. I don't know if you heard about it before, so you just have to go there and sit down and do your thing. And it's a good thing. Okay, so now I'm leaving the Brava Alfa Romeo place. When I was there, I just checked on what was to come. And there's a village five kilometers from here. The next one is another 13 after that. So I either have to stay here, do another five, and then have it done a total of 40, because I don't want to do 53. So I found ahead, made a reservation, I think. Uh, the lady I spoke to was just speaking Spanish, so I did my best by uh, saying una habitación individual, individual. She said vale, I said my name, it was more vale, vale. So when I come there, I just have to find out what did I do. Uh, uh, Brava Alfa Romeo place, I left 200 meters ago, was right there. But I just have to check this out. What is this thing? You can say that maybe a lot of different things happens to you when you do the Camino. But I think one other thing is, just like I discovered in Santiago, and now with a private party, you're kind of intrigued. You want to see what it is. But when you get away from it and back into this, it's nice and quiet. It's just so great to have the silence again. These things just keep happening to me. I'm really wondering about the, the place I'm gonna sleep today. They called me back. They don't speak English. They say something of completo, that it's full. But then I, there's something about individual or privado. I say, si, sí, individual, privado, because I want something by myself. And then they say, okay. So is it full or is it not? I don't know. What am I getting? Time will show. But one more thing about the booking. 
like my first maybe 18 days from uh, Saint Jean to uh, Palace Rey. I just showed up. Didn't book most of the mornings. I didn't know where my day would finish. I loved it like that. But then uh, when they came in to Sari and after, the people doing the last hundred and the merging of the other Caminos, when it was real crowded, there was a need to book. The only reason I tried to book today is because if it was not a room in the hospital, I would have stopped earlier. Because at the hospital, I would have done about plus minus 40. But if there's nothing at the hospital, it's another 13. That's why I'm doing the booking. Because I don't want to do the other 13. And I wanted to know if I should stop before hospital or if hospital was okay. And they said it was okay, that's why I kept walking. But no, I don't know. So, but the best thing was when you just walked and stopped somewhere. And yeah, didn't have to do the booking. The Spanish is not that easy. Well, anyway. I did get a room, it's not a single room, for 20 euro as expected, but it is a double room for double the price, 40 euro. And uh, when they know it's uh, 15 kilometer to the next place, haggling is not an issue. So this is it. At least I got a room, so I'm just happy with that. So, and there will be a pilgrim dinner about seven, and I will attend that. But before that, there is some showering and a laundry to be done. <laughs> Thank you.